Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel in the 31 days of Halloween. Today we have a missing eyes special effects tutorial. You're only going to need a few things here. Some black tool. You will also need some tissue paper, toilet paper, whatever you've got, and some fake blood, a few eyeshadows, and some liquid latex. My bottle's a mess, so I showed you a pretty photo instead. <laughs> First thing you're going to do is just line around your eyes where you're going to create this special effect. I'm just using a brow pencil to do this taking some liquid latex on the back of a makeup brush because the actual brush is an absolute mess <laughs> placing that along the line and then I'm splitting the toilet paper apart so you have just like one little skinny sheet of the toilet paper that seems to work best I'm just going to be placing that down in tiny little strips along the line that I put the latex down so then after that, I'm just sealing in the edges with some more latex so it blends into my skin. I did want to note that my latex is like just literally just seconds from drying out. So it doesn't usually perform the way it's looking in this tutorial. The reason that it's behaving this way is because it is almost dried out. So if you get a fresh bottle, um, it's not going to have quite the texture. You are going to have to dab that and layer it and all that for the texture. So just a little side note. Also, if you like this look, they do sell prosthetics at Spirit Halloween. That actually was the inspiration for this uh, tutorial was that I saw that, but I was like, okay, it's kind of an expensive prosthetic for just like one night. I want to see if I can do it myself. So um, I came home. You guys know I love to DIY things. So that is an option if you don't feel so crafty or you don't have these supplies. So anyway, moving right along, we are blacking out the eye so that you cannot see through it. I'm just using some black body paint and putting that all around the inside area. You also would want to make sure at this point to put some eyeliner in the waterline as well as some mascara if you didn't already have it on or if you have light lashes. After that, you'll want to go in and set that with a black eyeshadow. This stuff does tend to crease up underneath the eyes and on the eyelid and all that stuff. So to make sure that the creases don't show through, you'll definitely want to make sure to set the black. Now I have zero self tanner on right now, so the latex is pretty dang similar to my skin tone. But if your skin tone is different, this would be the time to go in and add some foundation over the edges just to make that latex blend into your skin tone better. Next, we're going to be working on the little mesh patch that would go over our eye. This is just going to kind of black out the whites of your eye so that you can walk around with your eyes open. You don't have to walk around with your eyes closed and no one will really be able to see the whites of your eye. So the key here is to use about six layers of this. And I felt like that gave me the opacity that I needed. So cut it out to fit the eye shape and do as I say, not as I do cut it to the correct shape before. This is dangerous, obviously, putting scissors next to your eyes, so probably don't do that. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just taking the latex and another layer, and I'm just going to be sealing that little mesh patch in. Also, another note, be very careful about getting this on your eyebrow because it will pull out hair. So I know I've gotten mine pretty close to my eyebrow. Just be very, very, very careful because that absolutely can and will happen. <laughs> so next here, what I've done is mix some red and black body paint together to give me this kind of burgundy shade. Before you start painting though, make sure your latex is dry. You don't want to pull anything back up. That would really suck. So <laughs> next I'm just going in with some brown eyeshadow. It's a red brown and I'm mixing that in with that red paint this is just going to give the skin that kind of bruised and irritated look next I'm going in with this blood paste from Graftobian and this is just going to seal the deal add the gore give us that creepy factor and just really make this look come to life so I'm just running this right along the edge where the black meets the latex or the mesh meets the latex and I really really like this blood I know that's a creepy thing to say but with this one you don't have to mix a whole bunch of bloods together to get the right texture because it's kind of like jelly but also kind of liquidy at the same time Ooh, it's kind of weird anyway so obviously I can see because I'm going back through and doing the exact same thing on this eye and then that will complete the look. 
that is it for this creepy missing eyes special effects tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it today's shout out goes to rachel and scott thank you so much for watching and turning on my post notifications if you want the chance to be the next shout out all you have to do is turn on post notifications from the drop down menu select all just take a little screenshot and send it to me on instagram or twitter and you might be the next shout out thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much and i will see you again tomorrow